Tonight, I'm going to show you everything you need to make pina colada rice crispy treats. Stick around. Greetings, my confectionery compadres, and welcome to Randy Makes Candy, where I help you make tasty treats that people love to eat. Like many of you, I enjoy the occasional rice crispy treat, but I can't say I'm a huge fan. They're good, but they're a little one note flavor-wise. Well, that changes tonight. I'm going to add coconut and pineapple and see if we can elevate this childhood favorite into something a little more adult in nature. We're going to keep it family friendly though, so we won't be adding any rum. But why is the rum gone? I based this recipe on one I found on the Kitchen website. They have a lot of other great recipes as well, so I'll leave a link in the description. As always, I'd love to hear about your results if you decide to make these tropical treats, as well as suggestions for other recipes you'd like to see in future videos. And if you stick around after the recipe, I'll announce the winner of the music trivia challenge we've had running for the past few weeks. For this recipe, I used three quarters of a cup of dried pineapple, six tablespoons of unsalted butter, one half cup each of sweetened and unsweetened coconut, a 10 ounce bag of mini marshmallows, one half teaspoon of vanilla extract, one quarter teaspoon of salt, five cups of crispy rice cereal, and one quarter teaspoon of pina colada flavor. I also used an eight by eight pan, some parchment, a large saucepan, and a spatula. Okay, let's make some candy. Line an eight by eight baking pan, rough chop the pineapple, Melt the butter over medium-low heat. Add the vanilla and salt and stir to combine. Add the marshmallows and stir until they're melted. Add the coconut and pineapple and stir to combine. Remove the saucepan from the heat and carefully give the mixture a taste, remembering that it's very hot. If it needs a little more pop, as mine did, add the pina colada flavor and give it a good stir. Add the cereal and fold until it's completely coated with the marshmallow mixture. Transfer the mixture to the lined pan and press it into an even layer. The harder you press, the denser it'll be. I wanted mine to be a little lighter, so I went easy on the pressing. Let it cool for about an hour, then cut it into whatever size pieces you'd like. And that's it. If you're enjoying this video and would like to become a true compadre, click the subscribe button and turn on notifications for the channel. I'd love for you to join me in this confectionery caravan. Slant va!
I'm quite happy with this. As I said, I didn't want it to be too dense, so I was pretty gentle in pressing it into the pan. The bite has an almost delicate quality to it that really sets it apart from other crispy treats I've had, and the flavor is right where I wanted it as well. Nicely sweet, but the tartness with the pineapple keeps it from going too far, and the coconut nicely rounds out the flavor experience. If you're looking for an elevated version of this traditional treat, you really ought to try these. And the winner of the first RMC contest is Nick Jones. Once more, here are the songs with the titles and artists. Candy. 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 Congratulations, Nick. Your prize will be forthcoming. Thanks to everyone who participated, and I'm sure we'll have another contest in the future. If you decide to make your own tropical treats like this, five cups of crispy rice sip paper. If I didn't eat, slanch of.